Hey, what's up YouTube? Saf here on Super Saf TV, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the specs of the iPhone 5S to the iPhone 5C. Now, I have had a few requests for this, and a lot of people have also asked me why haven't I done much iPhone 5C coverage, and there is a good reason for that, which I'll be discussing later on. But what's different between the 5S and the 5C? Well, do hit that thumbs up button, and let's find out in this head-to-head -head spec comparison. We'll start off slightly differently. We'll start off with the build, because that's the most noticeable difference between these two. The iPhone iPhone 5S has the aluminium unibody that we saw on the iPhone 5. It looks pretty much identical as well. Although you've got a new version, you've got the black, you've got the silver, and you've also got a gold version now. The iPhone 5C is made of hard-coated polycarbonate material which is a fancy name for plastic. And it's available in white, pink, yellow, green, and blue. So you've got different variations of some bright pastel colors. So the iPhone 5C is not gonna be feeling or looking as premium as the iPhone 5S or even the iPhone 5. Now, in terms of the differences in size, a lot of people thought that they're gonna be the same size, but the iPhone 5C is slightly larger, 0.6 millimeters in height, and also 0.6 millimeters in width, roughly about 1.4 millimeters thicker as well. So it is slightly larger than the iPhone 5S. It's also slightly heavier, 20 grams heavier than the iPhone 5S. So even though it has that plastic material, it is heavier. Now, usually when you've got some plastic material, you'd expect it to be lower in weight. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but it is a heavier and a larger than the iPhone 5S. Now the screens on both of these devices are pretty much identical, four inch screens, uh, 1136 by 640 resolution, that's a 326 PPI. Now, once again, you've not got an update here in terms of the resolution, it's the same as the iPhone 5, you've not got a 720p HD screen. Now the advantage of this is that developers won't have to update their apps uh, for a different resolution. You are gonna still have the same resolution as the iPhone 5. But if you consider all of the competitive devices out there such as even the Nokia phones have 720p screens and pretty much all the Android flagships have 1080p for that 1080p HD screens so that personally is quite disappointing for me now the iPhone 5c has the same a6 chip that you've got on the iPhone 5 the iPhone 5s has the a7 chip it's a 64-bit chip it's supposed to be twice as fast you've also got the m7 coprocessor so it is supposed to be much faster and especially those high intensive apps and games it is going to be handling them a little bit better. In terms of the different storage options available, you've got the 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte versions on the iPhone 5S. On the iPhone 5C, you've only got the 16 and 32 gigabyte versions, neither with expandable storage. Cameras, you do have a slight difference. Resolution wise, they're exactly the same. Eight megapixels on both of these here. The 5C has pretty much the same camera as the iPhone 5. So you've got 2.4 aperture and the pixels are 1.3 microns at large. The iPhone 5 5S has larger pixels, so although it is the same resolution, it's a 15% larger sensor size, and uh, the pixels are 1.5 microns each, so they are larger. They're gonna be capturing that little bit more light, and it's also got a true tone flash, so that's a dual LED flash compared to a single LED flash on the 5C. We've also got a burst mode on the 5S, which you don't have on the 5C. In terms of the video from the rear-facing camera, you've got 1080p at 30 frames a second on uh, both of these devices, uh, but the iPhone 5S does have have 720p at 120 frames a second. So you've got nice slow motion on here. In terms of the front facing cameras, 1.2 megapixels and 720p on both of these here. So there's no update here either. Again, a very disappointing. Yes, fair enough. The excuse of the apps on the resolution is understandable to a certain extent, but why didn't they include 1080p video on the front facing camera? Something which pretty much all of the Android devices have out there. Quite disappointing again. Now, both of these are running iOS 7, the latest version of iOS. However, the iPhone 5S does have Touch ID. That's the fingerprint scanner on the home button. So you are gonna be able to unlock your device and also make purchases and things with your thumbprint or fingerprint without actually having uh, to put in your password or anything like that. There is a few potential issues which I've been discussing with friends. If you've got friends or family that you live with and if you're sleeping, then they could easily get you to unlock your device. And I can see a lot of fraping happening using the Touch ID, which will be interesting to see. Both of these have the same battery as well, 1440 milliamps, and it's gonna give you roughly about the same usage out of both of these devices. Finally, moving on to price. Now, this is interesting. And 
this is one of the reasons why I didn't do any iPhone 5C coverage up until now and that's because of the price. Now the iPhone 5S, you're going to be able to pick it up for £549 here in the UK for the 16 gigabyte base model and the other models are as detailed here. $199 on a 24 month contract in the US, available from 20th of September. The iPhone 5C, now this was very shocking for me, £469 for the 16 gigabyte version. Quite expensive, I would say, $99 on a 24 month contract, again releasing on the 20th of September. So let me explain what usually happens with Apple devices. You get a new device and the previous device drops in price on the Apple Store. So for instance, as soon as you had the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S dropped slightly in price, roughly about 15 to 20% and was available on the Apple Store. This time around, they've discontinued the iPhone 5. So what we would have expected was the iPhone 5S to come out and then the iPhone 5 to drop roughly around about this pricing mark. But what they've done instead is they've got the iPhone 5C, which is practically an iPhone 5, which is now larger heavier and also it doesn't have that premium build anymore it's got a plastic build now and that's at the similar pricing range which the iphone 5 would have a drop to i just don't understand it just does not compute in my mind why would they do this why would they have this device which is less premium at this price point especially when there's a lots of competition coming in from android it just does not make sense to me i would have preferred the iphone 5 to be at this pricing range instead of this plastic version now apple fanboys you can hate me as much as you want but i'm going to be completely honest as i am always on the channel and i'm very very disappointed with the iphone 5c essentially a one year old model in terms of specs with a plastic build now at still at a premium price it just doesn't make sense to me and i am hugely disappointed with the 5c what do you think of it? Will you be going for either of these devices? As always, do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. A bit of a rant video, to be honest, but I hope you did enjoy it and found it useful. If you did, as always, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more videos coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below.